What's up guys, it's Randy and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking Pro Tools Key Commands. I got 10 of my favorite tips here. They're all about speed, session management, making your life a whole lot easier. Let's get right to it. We should all know how to create a new audio track, Shift Command N. That's not really what I wanna show you. What's cool though is when this dialog box pops up, if you hold down Command and press left or right, you can actually change from mono to stereo. And then still holding Command, if you press up or down, you can change the track type. So this makes it really quick when you wanna create, let's say 10 new mono audio tracks. I can do Shift Command N in the same dialog box, do two stereo aux inputs, one stereo master fader, boom, five stereo instrument tracks, bam, boom, there they are. Perfect chance for some coffee. Okay, so the next session management tip is option A. What that's gonna do is it's gonna show me my whole session from left to right. But we also sometimes wanna see top to bottom. So we wanna cram the session down so we can get really good visual of what we're working on. Control, Option, Command, and Down will make the whole session appear vertically. You know when you're looking at something way too close for too long, you need to step back and see the whole picture. This really helps to do that. Okay, tip number four. Let's say I go through here and I have all of these pieces missing. They're gone, I hate them. What I wanna do is then consolidate. I'll do Shift, Option, Three. Boom, it's gonna rewrite the whole track. You can see it's actually writing over these spaces. Something that's important to note about that, if you have a fade, it's actually gonna confirm that fade. So it's, it's, it's committing to it. You gotta be sure that you wanna do it, but it makes the session look really nice when you're all ready to go, nice and clean. So the last two organizational tips are to clean out your clips. Clips kind of build up because every time you edit a file, it saves the original versions as well as all the pieces that you've cut out. So even though I've consolidated this whole file, you can see it there, it's still gonna have the other edits below it. When I'm getting ready to save a copy on a hard drive or something like that, what I'm gonna do is do Shift Command U. It's gonna select all of the tracks that aren't actually in the session anymore. And then I'm gonna do Shift Command B. And I'm gonna say remove. So this gives you the option to either remove them or permanently delete them. I've got tons of hard drive space. I just don't want them in this project file. Tip number seven, I have all these tracks in different stages. This looks a bit confusing because you can see all of the automation. I want them to go back to waveform view. You can just go to the track and press control command click on the title and it'll actually move that back to waveform. Okay, tip number eight, shift command I. Now there are a couple variations of this that you can actually do to import video, import session data, but basically it's combinations of shift command I for audio, shift option I for session data, yep and shift option command I for import video. It's nice to remember those to uh, help speed up that workflow a little bit, but we're gonna condense them into one tip. It's really just import how you do it. It's shift something I. Tip number nine, this is kind of a cool one. So when you're in a session and you need to get a single clip exported and you don't want to offline bounce it, you just want to export this exact clip the way it is, you can do shift command K. Just note that this is not going to have effects on it. It's literally just exporting that clip itself. All right, we've made it to tip number 10. This is my favorite one by far. Um, I found this tip out way too late in the game. Like I'm talking way too many years of using Pro Tools to, to learn about this tip. So let me set the scene. Let's say that we have a band out on the floor. They're ready to record. We're getting the preamps dialed in and we wanna send them a headphone mix. Basically, one of the quickest ways to do this, if you take the master fader that goes to the headphones, drop this down, I'm gonna select all the channels and do shift option, send to bus, send to headphones. It'll send it to all of them. But we notice now the levels aren't what I have here. So I wanna send them the mix that I've already created in the studio. So what I'm gonna do here is highlight them all. I'll do option command H. And you can see that it's asking, what do you wanna to copy to the send? So I'm gonna send the volume, panning and mutes. And I wanna send it to send A, which is this one here. Once I press okay, you'll notice it changes the mix automatically. So now their headphones are gonna be exactly what I'm hearing in the studio. And I can just bring up this master fader once I put on headphones myself to make sure I'm not blowing their ears or anything like that. It's usually a pretty good place to start. Safe bet if it sounds good in the studio, it's probably gonna sound good in their headphones too. Well guys, that's it for me. Let me know which key command you guys found the most useful. And if you guys have any that are part of your workflow, throw them down in the comments because we all like to learn. We'll see you guys in the next one.